Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing um, a griffin, which looks like an orc with tusks and uh, um, a trophy pole here. We are playing the Aris. The Aris is the Solaris hero mech and uh, before we get into the build I just want to give you a little heads up. You can do the same thing uh, with the 1C I believe it is, because it has uh, the, ha the, the, same, the same amount of hard points. Yeah, the 1C, this one here, the Griffin 1C, which is also a champion mech. Um, but if you have a regular 1C, you can build it and uh, you can perform basically, probably even better. But because the, the 1C has uh, four energy hard points in the right arm and then, then two missiles in the left torso. So that's a nice, nice thing to have here. But yeah, we are going for a short range brawler today with our Aris. And we have two SRM6s, Artemis. We have four medium pulse lasers. We're running two jump jets. Three double heat sinks, uh, light engine 280 and three tons of ammo. Very straightforward. We have the high mounts, which is great for some mini jumps over ridges and stuff, just to get some burst damage in there. And the cool thing about the, the Aris here is it has a missile range quirk of uh, a lot. What was that? Let me check. Missile, 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 missile spread, missile thing, missile. It has a range quirk, so you can shoot the missiles very far. And that's cool, uh, because you don't need to expose yourself. I need to go super intimate here. Um, medium pulse lasers for shorter burn duration, so this is really good for targeting weak spots and uh, it's basically what we do today. Again, it's a brawler. It's a medium mech brawler. Our uh, skill build looks like this. Uh, we have 68 of 91 unlocked already. I was going for firepower mainly here, having all the missile nodes unlocked, going for cooldown and of course the laser duration to uh, lower our duration for a more pinpoint and of course reduce the cycle time because the laser will, oh, the cooldown will only start when the weapon has finished firing. Therefore, we go for the laser duration and, of course, structure, because the Griffin has a lot of structure. And when you take a look at this, we actually have more structure in the... Or actually, as, as much structure as armor on, on this mech here. And that's cool. So even if your armor is down and when the enemy thinks, ha, oh, it's an easy kill now, you can still survive and you can still, still beat them up. However, you are susceptible to machine gun fire and critical damage, so that's another story. But uh, just having raw HP as a frontliner, uh, not frontliner, but, you know, a brawler, uh, a fighter that wants to be in the middle of the fight is really good. And therefore, I was maxing out skeletal density first before I go for armor hardening. This is a thing that I'm going to do later on. Um, skipping mobility here, skipping jump jets. Uh, I'm working towards operations at the moment because the build is somewhat hot uh, when you sustain the fights. Therefore, being able to, to shoot more and be more active uh, is good. Therefore, next uh, up is going to be the, the cool run. After that, we got some more armor on this thing. But what's really important is radar deprivation. Uh, because the mech is very mobile and especially when you pop tart, when you do some jump behind the ridges and, and, and shoot your missiles on the enemy and then breaking line of sight and locks as a result is super super handy. And we are going for a double artillery strike today since uh, I want to engage early. I want to have something to do early on uh, when I'm not in my optimal range and therefore double artillery gives you something to do. It's also just good DPS. And that's it. That is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective and we are playing Assault. Mining Collective is great for us because we, we are in a nice, I don't know, skirmish brawler. Uh, something something in between here. Actually, it is relatively brawlish here, uh, but we can also go for um, some some peeking here. We got two SRMs very high mounted on our right shoulder, and uh, I want to do some mini jumps out of cover to get that on point, and uh, hopefully not getting that much return fire. So this is the plan here. I do not want to seek the, the upfront brawl, like uh, taking damage, dealing damage, and trying to overwhelm the enemy uh, quicker than he can overwhelm me. Uh, just doing some. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Just doing some uh, some hit and run shenanigans early on and later we can we can go in. Okay, let's help the Atlas Out of range. Okay. Yeah, we have to we have to go around here because this is a choke point If you stand here, you will get struck by artillery a lot Therefore don't be there uh, Either take the top go around or get back and reinforce the team. We are super stretched out. This is not leading us anywhere Okay, so dodge this yeah, we need to go back. Honestly, my assault mechs are getting getting uh, harassed by light mechs there. This is uh, not leading us... Oh, sheep. Okay, not leading us anywhere. Yeah, they have set up uh, a very nice thing here. Seriously. I'm, I'm baffled by that. <laughs> however, however, uh, the enemies are in kind of the same situation as we are here. Being in the choke point. Which 
which means artillery behind them, when they don't see it coming, will hopefully deal some damage. I tried to hit it on the wall. Ooh, wow, okay, so everybody is split. Okay, we're gonna go in then. Here comes the artillery. We're gonna dodge this. Okay, we managed to dodge it actually. And my second artillery is coming out in a brief moment. Over there. No, it's being taken already. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I really hope that somebody made some good use of this. Ah, oh, would have been so great. Dude? What? What? This is your friend? This is your friend, dude. It's not an enemy. Okay. How, how far? 300 meters. We need to get closer. Okay, big artillery again. Fafnir is crit. Couldn't get another missile out. Okay, we go for heat, heat vision. Because they are running, I want to be able to reliably target them. This guy is cooking. Like, look, look at his damage score. Uh, damage, damage grid here. He cannot do anything. No, okay, I'm gonna leave him. Because I'm afraid of the, the thing that is coming up there. Uh, guys, can we please? Can we please? Okay. Did I just accidentally passively kill my, my panther buddy? Hey, this, this guy is really good at targeting my side torso there. Okay, it's four and three. My side torso is crit, sadly. It's not good. I want to try to find another angle here. It's the Fafnir. That guy was crit in the left shoulder. So we're gonna try to destroy it real quick. Uh, it's an LB20. Couldn't get it. Wow. Structure for days, I believe. And now the enemy assault makes are coming in. I got it, but for what cost? Okay, we can take him down. No, I cannot. Okay, interesting. Hi, what are you doing here, dude? Oh god, oh god, I'm I'm trapped between a rock and a hard place here. I could get this guy, but now I'm out. Holy crap, my positioning was so bad in this one. Um, let's see, let's see if the game... Uh, damage was good and everything, but uh, I had no teammates whatsoever around me and I was trapped between all of their assault max. What is my team doing at base? Like, the supernova here. Come on, get in, get in the fight, dude. Acquired. Seriously, you have an assault max. Use that. Don't, don't just stay there. Uh, at the moment, the team, the enemy team is uh, actually grouped up and we are split. This king crab is only having a laser AMS, so he's down. Uh, hunchback, AC20, medium laser. Um, classic 4G here. Okay. Is he running stock, actually? He's running stock, so it seems. Yeah, yeah, this is a stock build. Okay. Maybe he just bought a build, uh, bought a mech, and... Uh... Alright. Let's see, what else? Cougar, oh my god, he's getting thrashed by these guys. <laughs> oh, wow. It's 6 and 7, though. This is not over yet. It's another kill. 7 and 7. No, 6 and 8. Never mind. I read that wrong. That was a king crab. That was out of the fight anyway. So let's see. We got a fire starter coming in. Cougar overheating. Cougar dead. Supernova still passive. He is afraid of getting shot at, so he, he doesn't like to to go anywhere. He wants to make use of his range and shoot the enforcer. But he's overheating. Enforcer coming in, shooting him with the medium lasers and the probably AC10, waiting for him to get in. Oh, it's actually a Gauss rifle. So Supernova overheating again. Trying to get his last shot out, but he was punished for it by the whole enemy team. Now the Cougar on his last stand, getting shot by everybody. The machine guns coming in, trying to crit everything out. The Mistlings just face-hugging him to death. He knows that he cannot withstand the power of the machine gun. And the Cougar is getting wrecked. Enemy team murder balling towards our base. The Hunchback trying to get behind him. Preventing them to get the base captured. But what can he do? He only has an AC-20 and two medium lasers. He is running the stock build. Probably a new player. Is his aim good enough to get at least one more kill? We will see that in the next episode of... Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's, it's probably GG. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, maybe, maybe. There's still a chance. Enforcer, super crit, Santa Torso, one shot. Yeah, you, you can tell, this is a new player. Um, It's okay, though. It's okay. Nice. Give him hell, man. Yeah, AC20. Yeah. Uh, and here it is. <laughs> All right. All right. Now... Okay, um, my, our team cohesion was uh, not not ex non-existent or not not good. Let's say it that like like that. We had two separated uh, flanks, 
Uh, our main force of our assault makes we're just staying at base, and we try to do something here on, on the outskirts and the flank. And then, uh, uh, you, you could see, the enemy to a murder bolt, like they were bolted up and had everybody there when we tried to engage them and fight them with our, our little griffin. And uh, that is what uh, lost us the game here. We didn't, we didn't have enough firepower combined here. Anyway, we got two killing blows. We got three kill most damage dealt, 707 damage. Yeah, granted, we got two very good artillery strikes out and um, four components destroyed. As a first round, everybody, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Crimson Strait. We quickly want to get Kappa, and then we're going to go over to the saddle and see if there's anything there. So uh, our fire starter is uh, actually doing this already. Sometimes you have some, some cheeky light mechs who really want to engage you here. But uh, if they are some of them, yep, that's exactly it. If they're here, it's not a light mech. That's an LB-10 Huntsman. Uh, let's kill the Huntsman, let's kill the Huntsman. I mean, he is completely out of position. He has some friends, though. Uh, it's an Uziel with a PPC. Guys, two, two mediums at the saddle. Let's overwhelm them quickly. I need some help. And an Atlas. Okay, artillery strike behind the Atlas. Ooh, actually they have more than that. Oh, so good. Okay, let's get out of here. We have massive company at the saddle. Uh, there's an Atlas, Uziel, um, Huntsman, and I believe uh, Panther. Double ER PPC. Oh, that's a toasty build, man. That's so toasty. Oh, be careful with this. Okay, that seemed like massive team damage. Okay, so, yeah, I believe they pulled back. Can we actually get a kill here? Shall we push over? I, I think staying here does nothing. I'm pushing. Let's go. I'm at the bottom. I'm trying to work my way up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's get the Panther. Uh, he's probably running a very low engine rating. Yeah. Mm, the Atlas is out or somewhere. Hey, dude. The thing is, he, he's so hot in his build. He cannot possibly sustain the fight there. And he already realized that he cannot do anything there. So let's save our heat. I could have shot him. But yeah, we have just some snipers here. Mm -hmm. Get him, man. Get him. Heavy PPCs. If we get close, like under 90 meters, he cannot even defend himself. Should probably shoot the leg more often. I think we got him. Yeah, let's go. So, he cannot do any harm to me. It's probably XL. Mm, not XL. Okay, you guys take him. I'm gonna take the Panther here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe my game is lagging like hell. Get wrecked? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> we, we got something done here. Oh, and our saddle is being pushed now. Now, question is, reinforce at saddle? Yes, definitely. Guys, we need to reinforce at the saddle. Turn around, get some kills. Come on, help our guys, please. The saddle is hard. If you have artillery, don't hesitate to drop it now. Speaking of which, uh, I can do it. No problem. Hey, have some artillery. I dropped artillery on the saddle. Should push him back a little bit and buy us some time. Uh, this was not uh, to to optimize damage here, although I got some hits in, just to make uh, them to to pull back, so we can we can get something done here. We can regroup. Uh, it was a nice fight, though, guys. We need to engage. They are doing the caps, and we have an advantage. Let's ball up and do it. I'm working my way back up the saddle. Get All right. <laughs> this guy, the poor guy. Yeah, going in. Oh, nice, nice kill. Oh, bad. Yes, bad, 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 bad. Okay, I lost an arm, which uh, is not that like bad per se. I mean, it's not good, but our heat management is, I believe, all right. So we're gonna do some mini jumps here. There's not being mini. <laughs> okay, the Atlas there is a little bit scary. Should hit? No, actually not. Okay. Hi, Atlas. Atlas is out. Good. Uh, this is uh, out of out of range. Okay, and now we go for the Jester there. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe this guy is a better target. Jester down, Marauder down. We go for the Hellbringer then. Okay, side horse is open. This mad cat here was very mean to me earlier. I want to try to pin him down. Okay, component destroyed. It's nice, he's not going anywhere. Team can come in and finish him off. I like this Warhorn. Okay. 
There's another Hellbringer, and there are enemies on the right. That's why I hesitated Watch going in right now. Guys, we have eight kills. Let's go in. Let's kill him. Get him. Let's get him. Get him, boys. Nice. Wow, this is uh, what's it called? Uh, Warhammer. He's taking some some kills here, left and right. But this guy is gonna be mine. Yes. <laughs> now next up, Hellbringer again, pinning him down. Good idea. Just lagging them and then following up here. Nice one. I'm gonna go to Sigma, guys. Cool, 11 kills. That was nice. I mean, we have one enemy still on the battlefield, but I think my team can just go ahead and do it. We're gonna cap here because this is one of our objectives that we have. Uh, not, not, not falling behind so much. And it might be. There is a slight chance that the enemy actually wins this. Uh, since they still have Epsilon, Epsilon being the, the furthest point out from our current situation, we got Gamma almost, and I'm on my way to Sigma, and Epsilon is all the way back there. Um, would be cool if some medium or lightning could go to Epsilon and not stay at uh, Theta. We are on a hard timer here, guys. And I believe we shouldn't actually leave the spots. We can just defend them, since there's one, one enemy still. And that's what we do here. We just camp here. This is our Sigma now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live here now. I'm gonna bring my furniture and my, my stuff. And this is my new home. Look at this. We got a nice platform here. We got a... What's this? Is it a crane? Like cranes. I like cranes. Having a crane in a, in a, in a house is good. Because then you can, you know, lift all the heavy stuff. <laughs> okay. Now this is my new home. Let me see. Um, we actually have some people going to Epsilon. We have uh, oh, Gamma. We have Kappa. We, somebody's shooting me. Oh, what are you? What are you? Why? Why? Okay, last enemy is at Hotel 3. <laughs> Good thing is I decapped it already. What is he doing there? What? What is it? It's a rifleman, that's for sure. Can we do it? Okay, let me see. Uh, AC2 rifleman, laser AMS, medium laser. He has the power to do it. We want to get behind him and just kill him. He just flashed Sigma. Yeah. Uh, the thing is he cannot cap Sigma when we are shooting at him. And now we got it. Good job! Cool. Thank you, Lightmag, for coming in. Was it a Lightmag, actually? No, it was an Evan Jack. Thank you for helping me out here. Nice! That was a good round. I like that dynamic of the round. Like, early engagement, then turning around, dealing with them, and we got two killing blows and ten assists, and 736 damage out of this with ten components destroyed. Yeah, I was going for lags a lot here. Nice game. Cool. It was actually very close. That was the daily dose for today, everybody. I wish, uh, or I hope you had some fun here, and if you had that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.